Hello, um, this video is to demonstrate how to use PHTAT in uh, using t-test for one sample mean. Suppose this is a problem. A newspaper claims that the average height of Filipinos is 5.5 feet. 55 randomly selected Filipinos were selected and their heights were recorded. Perform a t-test at 0 0.05 level of significance if the sample average height is the same with what the newspaper claims. So from this problem, since uh, the problem did not specify whether the sample mean would be greater than 5.5 uh, or uh, less than 5.5, then the test that is applicable here is a two-tailed test. We start with uh, stating the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. So in this particular problem, then the uh, null hypothesis is that the average height of Filipinos is 5.5 feet, while the alternative hypothesis is that the average height of Filipinos is not equal to 5.5 feet. Now, uh, with this, after uh, stating the null and the alternative hypothesis, we will now encode the data in Excel in one column, such as this. So, these are now the values under height. Now, to uh, run the t-test for one sample mean, we again click th dot, then uh, choose one sample test. From one sample test, now there are uh, four choices. You have to choose t test for the mean sigma unknown. Now, for the null hypothesis, we uh, encode the value or the population mean, which is equal to 5.5 feet. While the uh, level of significance, which is uh, given in the problem which is equal to 0 0.05 now since the uh, sample statistics is not known we choose the second option okay sample statistics unknown and then we highlight the uh, column height where it contains the uh, height of the 55 randomly selected um, respondents we have this and then we uh, check this box since we included the label and then we choose two tail test then we click ok so this is the result now where again the null hypothesis is 5.5 the level of significance is 0 0.05 the sample size is 55 while the computed sample mean is 5.42 in two decimal places the sample standard deviation is 0.55. The uh, result of the test shows that the t value or the t statistic is equal to negative 1.13. While the critical value, since uh, the test we use is two tailed test, there are two critical values. The critical value on uh, the left side is uh, negative 2.0049, while on the right side, is positive 2.0049 now comparing the uh, t test value with the critical value it shows that uh, negative 1.113 is found in the non-critical region okay so when the t test value is found in the non-critical region then the decision is do not reject the null hypothesis that is using the traditional method. Now, if we are going to use the p-value method, now here is the p-value method. The p-value is equal to 0.2624. Compare the p-value to the uh, level of significance used, which is equal to 0 0.05. Now, since the p-value is greater than the level of significance used, which is equal to 0 0.05, the decision is still the same, which is do not reject the null hypothesis. Now, what is the conclusion for this problem? Going back to the problem, since the decision is uh, do not reject the null hypothesis, then we say, therefore, 
that the uh, average height of the Filipinos is still equal to 5.5 feet because again it shows that okay, the uh, difference observed between the sample mean and the population mean is not significant that's it thank you